Lloyd Bridges Jr. was an American film, stage and television actor who starred in a number of television series and appeared in more than 150 feature films. The star of many land and water adventures was born on January 15, 1913 in San Leandro, California to Harriet Evelyn and Lloyd Verne Bridges Sr. His parents were both natives of Kansas and have English ancestry. He graduated from Petaluma High School in 1930. He grew up in various northern California towns. His father wanted him to become a lawyer, but Bridges' interest turned to acting and eventually became a great performer. He studied political science at UCLA where he was a member of Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity. Bridges met his wife Dorothy Bridges in his fraternity. They married in 1938 in New York City. They had four children, actors Bo Bridges, born in 1941 and Jeff Bridges, born in 1949, a daughter Lucinda Louise Bridges born in October 1953, and another son Garrett Miles Bridges who died of sudden infant death syndrome on August 3, 1948. Actor Jordan Bridges is Bo's son and Lloyd's grandson. Dorothy and Lloyd exchanged vows again for their 50th wedding anniversary. He was always known to be a family man as he was happily married for 60 years. Bridges had small uncredited roles in the films Freshman Love 1936 and Dancing Feet 1936. He made his Broadway debut in 1937 in a short lived production of Shakespeare's Othello, starring Walter Houston and Brian Ahern. He became a megastar when he starred in Sea Hunt, America's most successful syndicated series. His fan following grew stronger when he became more popular by portraying spoofy roles in movies like Hot Shots and Airplane. He appeared on stage in Susanna and the Elders, 1940. In Hollywood he had an uncredited role in Northwest Passage, 1940. He joined Stocked Company at Columbia Pictures $75 a week in 1940, where he played small roles in features and short subjects. He then left Columbia Pictures during World War II to enlist in the United States Coast Guard. He became a member of U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary, 11th District, California. He did several public announcements. Bridges' first lead role model was in the serial Secret Agent X-9, 1945, that was made for Universal. That studio kept him on for Strange Confession, 1945, and Inner Sanctum Mystery. Bridges' Sea Hunt character Mike Nelson was portrayed as a member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary and in other cases appeared in uniform. Because of this support, he was made an honorary Commodore in the Auxiliary. Bridges' sons, actors Bo and Jeff, also served in the Coast Guard Reserve. Bridges had some support roles in independent films such as A Walk in the Sun, 1945, and Abilene Town, 1946. He was in Paramount Miss Susie Slagle 1946 and Walter Wenger's Canyon Passage 1947. He appeared in a small role in Cecil B. DeMille's film Unconquered in 1947. He returned to lead roles with Secret Service Investigator 1948 at Republic Pictures and 16 Fathoms Deep, 1948, for Monogram Pictures. Bridges had a support role in Moonrise, 1948, then was the lead in Hideout, 1949, for Republic. Bridges was in a western at Universal directed by George Sherman, Red Canyon, 1949, and a short at MGM, Mr. Whitney Had a Notion, 1949. In Home of the Brave, 1949, he had a good role. At Universal he was Howard Duff's friend in Calamity Jane and Sam Bass, 1949, again for Sherman Bridges had the starring role in Trapped, 1949, directed by Richard Fleischer for Eagle Lion and Rocketship XM, 1954, Lippert Pictures, he had supporting roles in Colt.4500 in 1951. The White Tower 1951 and The Sound of Fury 1950 directed by Cy Enfield. The course of his career didn't run smoothly as he got blacklisted by the FBI due to Hollywood's infamous Red Purge due to his association with the Actors Lab a theater group which had connections with communist parties. He struggled for a while but eventually got his name cleared from the FBI's list and returned back to his regular acting career. His struggle gave away to a massive television success which it seemed like was just waiting for his return to acting. 
In 1956, he won an Emmy Award nomination for his emotional and breakthrough performance on live anthology program called The Ancoa Hour, which also gained a lot of publicity due to Bridges' adlibbing. Even though his tongue slip was criticized by the audience, the episode managed to receive Robert E. Sherwood Television Award. He also co-authored a book, Mask and Flippers, about skin diving. Bridges featured also in the Jeff Bridges Show on ABC from 1962 to 1963, where his sons also made an appearance. He appeared on The Loner, a series which lasted from 1964 to 1965, and then pulled out due to the violent content show. He became a favorite of the new generation when he played spoofy characters in movies like Airplane, 1980, and Hot Shorts, 1990. The characters played by him connected well with the audience and he got a lot of recognition for the roles. He made numerous appearances on shows like Paper Dolls, 1984, Capital News, 1990, and Hearts of the West, 1993 to 1994. He became a frequent star on television series for almost 40 years. He received another Emmy Award nomination for pulling off role of hyper-competitive Izzy Mandelbaum in Seinfeld in 1998. He went through an open heart surgery to remove blockages from his coronary arteries in 1992, before he returned to make his memorable appearance in Seinfeld. In 1998, he became the head of a mission of a mission for a humanitarian organization, CARE, and also worked for the protection of environment. In March 10, 1998, Bridges died of natural causes at the age of 85. An episode The Burning in the Final Seinfeld Season was dedicated to the memory of Lloyd Bridges. Bridges' last film, Jane Austen's Mafia, which came out the year of his death bears a dedication to him.